The late 1980s and early 90s were transformative years for Grand Prix racing. The new McLaren MP44 arrived in 1988 and won 15 of the 16 races that year, with McLaren winning the Constructors' Championship by almost triple the points of the second place team. It was no stroke of luck either. The McLaren team had two of the all-time best drivers. Unfortunately, they would grow to hate each other. Alain Prost was reigning world champion, and Artin Senna was a young, aggressive driver looking to prove he was the best. Although they were teammates, Prost and Senna clashed many times on the racetrack. Senna went on to win the 1988 Drivers' Championship, and Prost won the following year. For the 1990 season, Prost left for Ferrari, but this only intensified one of the greatest rivalries in the history of the sport. Hey, what is up, guys? It is me, Supercharged. Today we got a brand new video. Today we get the number 12 MP4-4. This thing is quick stock. No tune, nothing. I should, probably should have put drag tires on it for drag, but this thing is fast. Later we'll take it to circuit, but yeah, let's get into it. I'll show you how fast this thing is. Okay, here we are, boys. Let's see if I can try not to stall it. Nope. This is a mile. Watch me just destroy this drag car. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh no, starting to slow down. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Uh, no! I won! I won! Oh my god, I won by one! Look at that, one! Point zero, zero, one. That is like the closest win that you can get as a win. That is amazing. That means if I don't launch right, I lose, okay? This thing is fast, but... I beat a full on a uh, Mazda, so 22 seconds is really fast for uh, not upgrading, but it is a race car, and it's not meant for drag, some of you guys are going to say that. This thing on circuit can take corners at 150 to 170, so it's fast, you got to learn how to drive it, I just kind of drove it a little while ago. I must say the steering is pretty, uh, you turn it and it's, oh. Oh shit, it's like you turn and you're like, oh shit, er, bring it back, bring it back. And then you're in the wall. So, it does turn a lot. I was kind of turning like halfway down the strip too on accident. It's sensitive. And it turns really, really, really fast. <laughs> I have kind of like a throat cold, so I sound different. But let's go again. We got seven, seven seconds, not five. Four, no three, I mean two, I mean one. We got uno seconds. So let's get back into it. See if I can launch this right. Once we get back up from the Forza sign. Nope, I messed up. That Mazda will take the win. I'm sorry to say this thing. These cars are not made to launch. But he will take the win. If you look at this turn, I get the whoop, whoop, whoop. Not meant to hit the side, but look at that. That is crazy. That is crazy. So that's two runs. If you launch it right, this thing's quick. 22 seconds. That's probably like gonna. That was the closest race I've ever been in. All right, so let's go to circuit. I don't think it matters if we do one more race. So let's go to circuit. And race. I'll show okay, you. Okay, guys, we're back. We are on the circuit track test drive, so we're not actually in a game, but um, we're gonna be testing out this McLaren. Now, McLaren actually is a nice car. I'm not a big fan of the newer ones. Trick to watching this car is like revving it like that, and then there we go. Now this thing can get zero to hundred really quick. I've not raced this track for a while, so I'm gonna do a little rusty lap. There you guys go. I barely even break that turn, and I just made it. This thing has really good brakes. Look, look, oh, made it. 
didn't even hardly break. I just let off the gas. Break a little bit. I don't know what's coming up. Turn, turn. Out of nowhere, you're already past 150. 170. I'm on break. I could have probably stayed in there, but too risky. I'll have hit 200. Ooh, I hit too much gas that time. Ooh. Look at that, God. 150 right there. I'm gonna stay in this time. Now I love how it has boost and green. Like the boost right there. Only if I can click it. Now as you see, when I was taking the, oh, dang, I took that, too much boost, I hit the boost button. As you see when I was up there on that turn over there to the right, um, I was going so, I was like 180, and the, on the whole line on that turn said red, and I made it, so. Oh, I hit the side, well, oh, that's tires, those tires are hard. Those are some hard tires. I'm gonna go full mayhem right here. Look at this. 180 and turn. Oh! Ooh! <laughs> Thank you, Sam. As you can see, I that was a fast train. And 90. So you gotta play. You gotta learn the car. You guys gotta learn. I have not had enough time to learn the car. I love the little like uh, rev limiter, the rev, where as you can see above the steering wheel. Dang, I cannot stay straight. You try to hold the outside view, so you guys can see the outside of it. This one go. There I hit the brakes. So you hear just put that? I got from 180 to like 100. And I really slow time. I'm just gonna come up, throttle. Come. Not even oh I'm gonna hit the brakes. Yeah, I should probably have. There's some cases where if you don't even have to hit the brakes, you're gonna have to test around some tracks, see what you can do. This thing flies. Look at this thing go. Put it at 80. Hey. So there you guys go, McLaren. It is powered by a Honda, so yeah, it's a Honda engine, but the body is made by McLaren. Honda engine really well built. Uh, shell, shell good dub. Um, this is it, a McLaren. Super fast, super fast at drag racing. Rolls, it should be, should do really good. Even if you tune it, it might be even faster. As you can see, like a one wheel drift right there. Or you drifted the grass. You can mow your grass every day like this. It's like this, that shown. Well, uh, this thing, if you are asking, this will do burnouts. Ready? Oh. And it'll do donuts. It does have a lot of power. It needs a lot of room. It's pretty long. And this is McLaren. Hope you guys enjoy and goodbye!
See ya. Hey, boy.